In this tutorial, I will show you how to export multiple objects and artboards in multiple formats and sizes all at once in Affinity Designer 2. So to do this, we're going to be working in the export persona. And in the export persona, we first need to create slices, which you can do by selecting the slice tool. Um, this lets you select a portion of your design to be exported as individual graphics. Just so you just drag and then select whichever you want to select. And then you can here see in the slices window that you created a slice. You also have the export persona slice, which is there uh, from the beginning. And um, here we have this checkbox, which we can include in, select the, in selection to export. But if you click this one, it won't be included if you won't, don't want to have that one. Um, we can also select the slice selection tool, click on the object we want to create a slice from, and then right click and choose create slice. We can also go to the layers window, select the object we want to create a slice from, and then click this create slice button at the bottom here. Now in the slices window, as you can see, the slice we created with the slice tool here has a white background. The other two slices don't have that white background because the object itself is a PNG with a transparent background. Now, because you selected uh, the portion of your design to be exported with the slice tool, it takes your background with it. And our background now isn't transparent. So if you want to this to be transparent, also you can go to the designer persona and then here you click file and go to document setup. And in document setup, you choose to have a transparent background. And then in your export persona, this will also be transparent. As you can see now, all my slices have a transparent background. Now what we can do here is open up this arrow beside the slice. And here we can see that we can choose the formats we want to export in. So it's standard set to a PNG because it has a transparent background. And size times one. So the size of your object here, as you can see on the top here, will be the size you export. You can click this plus sign here to add another slice. So twice, two times the size, three times the size. You can choose all that here. But you can also click this plus sign here and here you can choose another format. So let's say we also want a JPEG. Now we have a PNG and a JPEG in the size of the object itself. And then I want the same for these other two slices. Now we can do it manually by adding it again, but I can also select this first slice where I already configured everything as I want it to be. And then go on top here and choose to copy export format to the clipboard and then select my two other slices holding the shift key and then choose to replace export setup from clipboard. And as you can see now, it has added the same setup as the one I chose on top. And then if you have everything the way you want it to be, you can click export slices and as you can see here we have three slices. If you want to export just one slice, you can click to export all formats here and then it's just slice one. Or you can just deselect them here with this button and then now you can see you have one slice. And then you just click the export slices button. You choose where you want to have them and then you click export. And you can also do the same with artboards. So I have my file here and I have an artboard one and an artboard two. I'm still in the export persona and I'm going to use my select, my slice selection tool and just drag over both of them. So I have them both selected. Then right click and create a slice. And now you can see my slices window here. I have two slices of my artboards, artboard one and artboard two. And by the way, if you want to change the name, you just you can click here and then you can adjust the name. And then here I can choose which formats and which sizes I want to export them in. And then again, click export slices. And if we now check our exports, as you can see, we have artboard one, two, slice one, slice two, and different formats, so PNG and JPEG. So that's how you can easily batch export multiple objects in multiple sizes and multiple formats all at once an affinity designer. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. Be sure to press the thumbs up button if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I have new tutorials going live every week. 
And for now, thank you for watching my video. Stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.